And what you see right there, some horrific camera photography <clears throat> of an amazing wildlife uh, feat that I just experienced, <laughs> just watched. There's a uh, osprey, and I just saw him. Uh, uh, he was hovering above Tolo Lake, and then uh, just plunged on down in and got a got a fish and hauled it out. It would have been a fantastic photograph. But uh, oh, I couldn't get my camera out in time. But uh, just cool to see the osprey go flying by with a fish, um, and he had it like angled uh you know go in the same direction so it's actually like aerodynamic really cool photograph i mean it would have been a, an amazing photograph uh, but uh cool thing to see here at tolo lake so about to uh head on over to uh white bird battlefield on the nez Pierce trail Still at Tolo Lake, it was just about uh, 15 minutes ago that I saw an osprey dive into the lake and uh, pull out a good sized trout. And now, uh, just along the trail here, and there's a uh, snake that's, as you can see, perfectly camouflaged for this kind of environment. And uh, one thing I've noticed, is, uh, Tolo Lake kind of reminds me of quite a few areas that I've passed through along the uh, National Scenic Trails and now the National Historic Trails, just starting those. But uh, you get these little areas that are just small little vestiges of the environment that used to be. And it amazes me how much life uh, still uh, seems to reside in these little areas because, you know, they don't have a, too far to go outside of this zone that are uh, going to start getting into wheat fields. And so they lose their habitat. But... Um, it uh, just uh, goes to show how valuable these little areas are. I mean, it's easy to think, oh, it's just a little little spot on the map, but uh, just an amazing amount of bird life along here that I've witnessed, and then uh, and then the uh, the snake, and anyhow, uh, just and then the flowers, wildflowers along the edge of the lake, prairie flowers, which you don't see too much around here because, like I say, it's uh, mostly cultivated agriculture uh, wheat we're in wheat country and um, so a few little areas that uh, still have the natural environment are um, important to the heritage natural heritage and it's good to see that uh, life is pretty tenacious and uh, hangs on walked about four miles from Tolo Lake back on highway 95 which does kind of a big U around Camas Prairie so back on highway 95 and here they have another uh, historic uh, site of the Nez, re referring to the Nez Pierce uh, and uh, referring to the Camas Prairie, named for the blue flowering Camas, an important root food for all the interior northern Indians. I've been trying to find the uh, Camas flowers, but um, I was told that they've already bloomed and I don't recognize the leaves. Anyways, it says uh, Camas Prairie is a traditional Nez Pierce cultural center. Tolo Lake visible below provided a campground for Joseph Swalawa Band and Whitebird Salmon River Band when war broke out on, let's see, when war broke out on Salmon River directly south of here, June 14, 1877. Both of these bands were under military pressure to settle on Camas Prairie when three young men Whitebird's band avenged a long series of past wrongs and the army authorities retaliated. So it's basically what I was explaining earlier. Um, and uh, you can see Tolo Lake off in the distance. And now I'm still heading to the Whitebird battlefield on Highway 95 along the Nez Pierce Trail. I don't think it really shows up on the video, the uh, grade, uphill grade I'm walking up. Once again on Highway 95. And uh, to the best of my knowledge, I think I'm the first person to attempt to walk the Nez Pierce Trail. I read of um, some, uh, some people that uh, traveled the trail on horses uh, back in the 80s. 
And then there's an Appaloosa club that does the trail in sections over a period of 10 years they do the entire trail. But uh, the, the trail is really set up well for uh, automobiles and they have an auto route that is uh, easy to follow, especially if you have a, uh, like a Jeep or a SUV. And uh, then you don't have to <laughs> walk up these hills along the highway. But uh, this is part of a greater endeavor that I'm attempting, which is to walk and photograph America's uh, National Historic Trails. This is my first trail, first historic trail. I've, I have walked all of America's National Scenic Trails, which is 11 of them. And uh, that's a different experience because they go through a much more rugged wilderness area, by and large. But uh, once I get to Whitebird, battle uh, ground which is coming up here pretty shortly then I will have to um, turn back around and go back to uh, Grangeville and so a lot of walking to get to this white bird battlefield but it's a very important part of the uh, flight of the Nest Pierce so I don't want to miss it so I'm walking up this hill right now